I wanted to see the results for my 22 chromosomes. Uh, so I used Jedmatch, the admixture utilities, and um, the project I selected it was Eurogenes K13 because um, I found that uh, my ethnicity is Ashkenazi Jewish, and uh, I find that uh, Eurogenes K13, for whatever reason, really uh, hones down on the Ashkenazi ethnicity and uh, does a really good job in terms of uh, distance and the uh, Monty calculator. And um, so what I did was uh, uh, you just um, you select the project, um, you press uh, right under admixture proportions with link to Oracle, you press um, uh, admixture proportions by chromosome, chromosome. And it's very, it's really, really quick, very, fairly, very quick uh, process. And it will process, uh, you know, in this case, 13 references um, for each of your chromosomes. And so what I did with that information, those numbers, um, is I went to Vahaduo tools for GEDmatch calculators. Uh, I went down to the K13 original spreadsheet and uh, I did remove Ashkenazi. And so I like to see what's underneath that. Um, and uh, in target, I it took a while, but I inputted the coordinates for each of my chromosomes, for all 22 chromosomes. And, uh, and then what I did was uh, uh, I went to single, um, I clicked reduce two populations, and uh, which are, is, I think is a really great feature. I think it really hones down on your, you know, your sort of the two major, um, um, you know, it's sort of like mixed mode, um, two major populations um, that you're kind of closest to. And uh, I took screenshots of the results. So I'm just going to share the results with you, uh, which I think are kind of interesting, especially for somebody of my ethnicity who's Ashkenazi. So here's uh, <clears throat> chromosome one and two. Chromosome, and don't, the distance doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> so, interesting, Saudi and Sardinian for chromosome one. Chromosome two, Yemenite Jewish, Southeast English. Chromosome three, Lebanese Druze, Labrana. Chromosome four, Lebanese Christian, French Basque and chromosome five Lebanese Druze and Spanish Mercia and chromosome six Lebanese Christian Urzia chromosome seven Lebanese Druze West Scottish Chromosome 8, Southeast English, Yemenite Jewish. And chromosome 9, Algerian Jewish, East Finnish. And chromosome 10, this is uh, kind of one of the interesting chromosomes, West Scottish and Brahui, Brahui which uh, I believe is... Uh, uh, Persian, Iranian, Northwest Iranian, uh, Iranians in Northwest Iran, I think Pakistan and Afghanistan. Brahua, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Uh, interesting chromosome, chromosome 10. Chromosome 11, Cyprian Carbadin. Don't know what Carbadin is. Obviously, Cyprian's the island of, uh, of Cyprus. East Mediterranean. Uh, chromosome 12, Sardinian, Abkhazian. And chromosome 13, Greek Thessaly, Balochi. Chromosome 14, Spanish Marcia, Lebanese Druze. And chromosome 15, Italian Jewish, Spanish Valencia. And chromosome 16, 
Algerian Jewish, Urzia. Chromosome 17. Another kind of interesting chromosome. Uh, Hungarian and Italian Jewish. And it's a very good distance as well, even though I don't think that um, distance really makes it, uh, doesn't really matter for the uh, Eurogenes K13 in Bahadur. And let's take a look at chromosome 18, Lebanese Christian, Sardinian. And chromosome 19, Spanish Aragon, Yemenite Jewish. Interesting mixture there. Again, this is R2P, which is reduced to uh, the N Monte calculator is reduced to finding just two populations. And chromosome 20, Lebanese Christian, Estonian Polish. And two more. Chromosome, these are these two are probably the most two interesting chromosomes. Chromosome 21, Armenian and French Basque. And chromosome 22, Spanish Aragon and Caratiana. Uh, I think the Spanish Aragon is uh, very interesting because I think it could be possibly an indication of Sephardic Jewish ancestry. Um, but that's that's a really interesting one, chromosome 22, Spanish Aragon. Um, okay, thanks for watching.